Yeah. Awesome. And then it's up to you guys if you want to have your camera on or if you want to, because it's completely up to you. The main thing is we'll just obviously turn, just keep the sound on just for Daniel. So I'm going to make you the host again, Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to. Okay, I'm the host. Cool. And then I'm going to mute and I'll. Okay, so far away. So, I, well, firstly, just before we go ahead, big thanks to Daniel for doing this. Um, I, I, I won't say too much because Daniel can, can share everything you need to know about the Wim Hof experience and the benefits and, and how often you can do it and why you do it. So um, I will shut up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so thank you very much to Matt of LPT and everyone that's joining. I know some of you can't be here today, and Matt is recording it, but you can access it in your own time. I'm going to address this as if you've never heard of Wim Hof Method or done a breath work. I did a podcast with Matt a week or two ago, um, so I'm going to just consider that you may not have listened to it. So my background, I'm a personal trainer, strength and conditioning coach, and breathwork coach. The Wim Hof method is a very powerful method that before was peripheral, but is now becoming more mainstream. So I don't know if any of you have got Netflix. There was a uh, documentary goop with Gwyneth Paltrow, and one of the episodes was Wim Hof and the Wim Hof method. And at the beginning, they were all pretty skeptical. You know, breathwork, cold water, they were jumping in like freezing lakes. And then they realized the power of it. Um, the Wim Hof method is three pillars, which is mindset, breath work, and gradual cold immersion. Okay. Obviously, right now, we're not going to do any cup of water unless you've got a paddling pool behind you. But what we're going to bring in today is the breath. And the breath work is very powerful. And when we practice the breath work, it does a, a, a huge amount of things. It boosts the immune system massively. But the biggest thing is it allows us to control our autonomic nervous system. Now, it's called autonomic because initially science believed that we could not manipulate or control our own uh, subconscious or nervous system. It was auto. It was a subconscious process. But the Wim Hof method is now scientifically backed. It shows us that we can access, through training and practice, our nervous system, which means we have more control of our physiology, our biology, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. Um, I used to suffer from extreme chronic asthma from the age of 15. I'm 38 now. And since practicing the Wim Hof method, I've been an instructor now for over two years, all my medications have gone all of them and all my hospital admissions have gone it's amazing at chronic inflammation so if any of you are suffering from chronic inflammation i.e asthma diabetes um, arthritis this is a tremendous benefit for you but the biggest thing that this breath work has given me is remaining calm within the storm what do i mean by that is remaining calm in high stress environments that's why we use this technique with professional athletes as well because obviously they're under a lot of pressure and they need to stay calm and during these times you know it's pretty mad we've got we've got coronavirus we've got you know a potential race war going on and all that kind of thing i won't i won't go political but it's pretty intense right so whatever you're going through i just want you to know that it's okay it's okay to be fearful it's okay to feel stressful it's okay to feel anxious you're human beings we all feel this way. But in order to move, in order to overcome this, we actually have to move through it. And quite often, which is very natural, when we're scared or anxious, we suppress or we try and run away from our issues. Uh, and we try and desperately control our external environment. And sometimes that doesn't always work. Well, how much control do we really have of our external environment? Hi, Von. We don't really have much control of our external environment. So if we can control our internal environment and remain calm during high stress environments, then that's going to be a huge factor uh, with ourselves, in our relationships, with our jobs. And it's how you can stay very calm in an ice bath. Right? An ice bath is extreme stress. Yet with training, 
like we have on our workshops. People get in and they can remain in an ice bath that have never done it before for two, three minutes and longer. The body remembers how calm it was during that extreme stress. It remembers. And as we go, as we practice more and more with the breath work, with the cold showers, the body remembers the calm. So whether you're in an argument uh, in your relationship, you have struggling to pay the bills, you're stressed about the news on the TV, the body remembers, oh, you were pretty calm during the breath work in the ice. This is nothing. Does that make sense? We're training the nervous system to stay calm. Now, a few T and Cs with this breath work. The Wim Hof method breath work is very powerful, so I need to explain some key rules with this. The Wim Hof method is a controlled hyperventilation technique. Controlled, okay? So it's like an exercise. And just like with LPT, you know, um, you know when you have a workout and you feel a bit sore afterwards, delayed onset muscle soreness, okay? That's us consciously choosing positive stress in order to get stronger. Now this breath work is an exercise. So we don't do this breath work six, seven, eight times a day. I'll explain how and when you should do it. There, there has to be recovery in between. So remember, it is an exercise and needs to be treated as such, needs to be treated with respect, okay? Now, if any of you have very high blood pressure or epilepsy, I would suggest that you contact me one-to-one -one or see another Wim Hof Method instructor one-to-one, okay? Because it does alter how the blood pressure um, changes in the body. And epilepsy, again, there can be issues with that because it's such powerful breath work. Now, when we do the breath work, we always make sure we are lying down on a yoga mat or a sofa or your bed or sat up, okay? And we make sure that when we do it, if we're sat up, there's not a coffee table in front of us because there is a very, very slight risk, very slight risk of blackout. You're thinking, what the hell? But in being an instructor for over two years and all the instructors over the world, we have never seen this once. But it's just like a gym, you know, there's a risk. You might sprain your ankle on a treadmill, okay? So there are very, very small risks. So just take that in mind. I'm going to be doing the breath work with you, and there's a chair in front of me, but I'm experienced. I really know my body now, so I know that's not going to happen, okay? But we start slowly. You are always in control with the breath work. Always, okay? But what we're going to do first, before we move into the Wim Hof Method breath work, is we're gonna do some other breath work activities just to warm up the diaphragm because we breathe a lot in the belly and just to calm the mind down and get us to rest the ego, okay? So, when you're ready, I'm just gonna take a sip of water, excuse me. Daniel? Yeah? Uh, uh, actually, Yvonne, could you just, it might be worth just turning off your audio if that's okay. Yeah, how do I turn that off? Or Daniel can do it for you. I can't do it by hand. Do it. Yeah, do you mind? No, not at all. Uh, yep, muted. <laughs> okay. So I just want you all to, I see that you've got in comfortable positions. That's good. And I want you to close your eyes, please. And simply focus on the natural rhythm of your breath. There's no right or wrong with your natural rhythm of the breath, it simply is. And whether you are inhaling through the nose, through the mouth, exhaling through the nose, from the mouth, all is well. We simply focus on the inhale and the exhale. And whether the mind is full of thoughts or quiet, it's okay. If the thoughts stir, we simply take it back and focus on the in-breath and the out-breath. 
for giving permission for the ego to rest. And we are telling it that we are safe and well. So we can open up to this breathwork practice. So we can engage with our highest self. And as we focus on the breath, I want you to gently scan the body for any tightness, contraction, discomfort. And I want us to listen to these pains. We will not suppress, we will not run. They are merely issues within the body mind that are trying to communicate with us. Perhaps a part of us is unbalanced, that is okay. And I want you to compassionately observe any of these discomforts. And we will listen to them. We will acknowledge them. But they are not in control of us. And when I direct you to focus on the mind, the body, the spirit, I want you to do so like a feather resting on a bubble. Gentle focus. Nothing forced. Nothing pushed simply is. And when I say I want you to change, consciously change the rhythm of your breath, I want you to inhale for five seconds through the nose and then exhale through the mouth for seven or eight seconds. You inhale for five seconds through the nose Exhale for seven or eight through the mouth and begin. Eyes closed still. And don't get too tied up if you cannot exhale through the mouth for seven or eight seconds. Just try to ensure that the exhale is longer than the inhale. And as you begin to relax and oxygenate, the longer breaths, the longer exhales will be easier to do. In for five. Exhale for eight through the mouth. When we make these long exhales through the mouth, we need control. It is a smooth exhale. So we inhale into the diaphragm. It may help placing your hands gently on your bellies. Feel the belly move into the hands. And then as you exhale for eight, Feel the belly flat. The belly effortlessly rises and falls like a gentle ocean. And all is well. On each conscious inhale, you are breathing in light and pure energy. And as you exhale, feel that energy move into every single cell of your body. As you inhale for five, you breathe in the light 
and the healing that you need. And as you long exhale through the mouth, you feel all pain, contraction within the body, open like a flower and release. We inhale trust. Exhale fear. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And know that all is well. As we breathe and you become more relaxed, we remember the sanctuary and the importance of the breath. The breath is always with you. It is always there. As we inhale for five, we breathe in the power and knowledge of this. And as we exhale, we surrender to the breath and allow it to do what it needs to do within the body. Inhale, flood the body with light. Exhale, feel muscles soften, open, and all the density is released. As you breathe in, you know it's effortlessly. It's easy. And as you exhale, we move deeper into relaxation. Just to finish this exercise, I want us to take three deep breaths in our own time, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Doesn't matter the count, go in your own time all the way in. And out and make the breath audible. All the way in. And out, let it go through your mouth. <sighs> Feel everything soften all the way in. And exhale, let go. <sighs> Just take a few moments and turn to the natural rhythm of your breath. Simply observe mind, body, spirit, in the here and now. Yeah. And when you are ready, Slowly open your eyes. Thank you. And please feel free to just move the body round, move the neck, shoulders, uncross your legs, straighten them. Now, hopefully you're a bit more relaxed, a bit more centered. And hopefully your diaphragm will be a bit more engaged. That's why we breathe into the belly. The Wim Hof method takes in lots of oxygen. It's quite a powerful breathwork method. So we need to engage that diaphragm and expand into the belly. Now I know LPT do some breath work with things like box breathing. I don't know if you've done it. So if you have done that with LPT, kind of have that in the back of your mind. That's a good foundation for the Wim Hof method with the breathwork. 
but I don't want you to get too tied up into, am I breathing into my belly? Am I breathing into the chest? Just like exercise, it takes practice, okay? So I'm going to now teach you the basics of the Wim Hof method. The Wim Hof method, for it to be effective, the minimal effective dose, I would say, is three rounds of the Wim Hof method breathing. And that is what we're gonna to do today, we do three rounds. You can get benefits off one round, you can get benefits off two, but three is the, the best effective dose you can have, and then typically you would have a cold shower afterwards if you wish, but we're not gonna do that now, or you may want to do it afterwards, it's up to you. So the Wim Hof method breathing requires huge deep inhales in and shallow exhales out. And in the breathing, breathing exercise, the previous uh, one that we did, remember I had you always exhaling out the mouth. Now in yoga, we inhale through the nose and out of the nose, that's all well and good. But with the Wim Hof method, we always exhale out of the mouth, always. It's because we engage the parasympathetic nervous system that way. And basically that means we move into a rest state quicker. That's all it means, okay? So when we inhale, it doesn't matter if we breathe in through the nose <laughs> or the mouth. Just get it out of the mouth. Does that make sense? And what we do is we, we inhale huge breaths 30 to 40 times and exhale shallow off these breaths. Okay, so it looks something like this. <laughs> Do you see how shallow my out breath is? So it's not like a, it's huge breaths in and what we say is we breathe into the belly, the chest and the head. Now, of course you can't breathe into the head, but it's a visualization technique to imagine the throat opening up. Huge, huge breaths in. <laughs> and like I say, these inhales can be either through the nose or the mouth. As we progress, one get, may get more tired than the other, so you can swap, okay? But the out-breaths are relaxed and reflexive. You know, like if you sigh, it's like that. So we're not kicking out all of the air. We're building up that oxygen within the lungs as we do breath after breath. So the breathing would look something like this. <laughs> Through the mouth, shallow exhales through the mouth. We do this 30 to 40 times. Now, why do we do it 30 to 40 times? Now, this is an average amount of breaths that we take that would allow the body to become 100% saturated. Now, many of you may never have felt this before. What does 100% oxygen saturation feel like? It feels like your fingers are tingly or your toes. It feels like your skin itches. It feels like you go lightheaded or slightly dizzy. This is the point of the exercise and you are perfectly safe. Just like on a spin bike when you're doing a sprint section, section, you know it can be quite stressful? It's the same thing, but we're remaining calm when we do this. So as we do this exercise and you start to feel these tingles or lightheadedness, know that that is okay and that is part of the exercise. And what we'll be doing is when we're doing this breath work, our eyes are closed, okay? And so when you're feeling lightheaded or tingly, I want you to breathe into these sensations, visualize. So for example, I tend to get lightheaded, so I visualize the breath as color going into the head. If you've got tingly fingers, breathe the energy into the fingers. Does that make sense? So 30 to 40 times, you will be fully oxygenated. It feels like you're on fire or you're plugged into an electric socket. You get in a lot of energy. Then once you get to this point, we'll take a huge inhale. And then this time we fully exhale through the mouth. We let everything go. All of it go. And then we hold the breath with no air in the lungs. So usually on a breath hold, we take it in and hold. Wim Hof method empty lungs and we hold the breath and what will surprise you is 
you'll, hold, you'll be able to hold your breath for quite a while with no air in the lungs. It's because during the power breaths, we've oxygenated the body. We're putting the oxygen into the muscle tissues, into the cellular tissues. It's how we heal. Okay? And that's one round of the breathing. And I know I've given you a lot of information, but I'm going to be coaching you through this. So you don't have to count 30 or 40 breaths. I'm going to time it on my timer. And it's 90 seconds. And I've worked out with all my workshops that 90 seconds of this breath equals around 30 to 40 breaths, depending on how quickly you breathe. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate, I know it's hard on camera, 10 of these breaths. Okay? So imagine I've done 30 breaths like this. I'm going to do the last 10 and then the breath hold. Okay? So I'm going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth for this. So I've already done 30, my last 10. Here we go. <laughs> Five more. One more. So I've hit 40 breaths. I go all the way in. And this time I exhale all the way out. Everything, everything gone. And then I rest. Eyes closed like you guys will be. With no air in the lungs. And we simply hold our breath with no air in the lungs. And when we feel the need to breathe, we don't force this breath hold. When the natural inclination comes, which is now for me, take a huge breath in. Hold for five to 10 seconds, focus the eyes on the forehead. And then we exhale. And then we move into a natural rhythm of our breathing till I tell you when to do the next round. So that's one round of breathing, okay? And then we do two of those on top. I am going to instruct you through the whole of this session. So I won't be doing the breath work with you. I may breathe so you hear my breathing, but I am going to be guiding you, okay? So I'm just gonna observe how it works for you guys and then see if it needs more instruction, okay? So I just want you now to close your eyes. I'm gonna be guiding you consistently through this, okay? Just hear my voice as I guide, so closing the eyes. And just going back to the previous exercise of just settling into the body. And as your eyes are closed, I'll just give you a recap. 30 to 40, huge breaths in, shallow exhales through the mouth out. Once you hit a charge point, it's when you feel lightheaded or tingly, you take a huge breath in and then exhale everything out of your mouth and you hold your breath with no air in the lungs. Maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe it's a minute that we hold, it doesn't matter. And when the natural reflex comes to breathe, we take a huge breath in, hold for five to 10 seconds, focus the eyes on the forehead, and then we let go and make the body heavy. And then we return to the natural rhythm of our breath till I instruct you into the next round. I want you to take three deep breaths all the way in through the nose. And exhale. And two more in your own time. And to begin the Wim Hof Method breathing, I will clap. And when we get to a point where we've hit 30 to 40 breaths or it's on my timer, I will clap again to then instruct you to take that huge breath in 
and then full exhale through the mouth. But I will coach you throughout this, okay? As you breathe, stay in the body. It is natural for the body to feel discomfort at times with the breath. So for example, if you have knee issues, your knees may start to ache as you oxygenate. This is a good thing. This is the oxygen moving into pain points in the body to heal. So try to surrender to this. It is going to areas of discomfort. Another deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. And begin. Huge inhales, shallow exhales. As you breathe in, feel the belly, chest, head fill, and shallow exhale. Breathe in, shallow exhale. As we exhale, just let go. It's nice and shallow. Huge breaths in, shallow exhales. Huge breaths in, shallow exhales. And as the body oxygenates, as you feel tingly, as you feel lightheaded, breathe into this sensation. It is natural. It is the natural process, all is well. Breathe, belly, chest, head. Good, I'm seeing the bellies fill, I'm seeing the chest rise, and let it go. Deep breaths in, shallow exhales. Keep going if you can, charging the body. You're filling the body with oxygen, you're filling the body with the energy, good. All the way in, shallow exhales. Good, charge, you may feel the body get hotter. This is good, the heart rate increasing. This is good, keep breathing. All the way in, now exhale, everything out of the mouth, everything. And hold. Feeling the body soften with no air in the lungs. And when the natural reflex comes to breathe, trust the body's intelligence in this. We take a huge breath in and hold for five to 10 seconds, focusing the eyes on the forehead and then let go. You will all have different breath holds. This is natural. Honor your own time. And when you've taken that huge breath in for five to 10 seconds and then let go, keep the eyes closed and just be observant and aware of what's happening within your body. And just be mindful of when we begin the next round. I will be starting the next round shortly. If you are still holding your breath, please honor that. Don't cut it short and join in when you can. And begin. Deep breath in, shallow exhales. This is round two, charging the body up. Every breath is conscious. Every breath has meaning. Fill that body with light and you fill the body with oxygen, feeling that energy move into the cells. If there is discomfort in the body, if there is ache, fill that energy. Fill that energy into those areas. Feel that contraction open. Shallow exhales. <sighs> On those shallow exhales, let it go. <sighs> Make it audible. Feel the body soften, but charge the body back up with the in-breath. 
breathe into the discomfort, breathe into the blockages, keep going, keep charging. As we progress in the rounds, the charge may feel stronger. This is normal. This is the exercise. This is how you become stronger. This is how you become more resilient. Breathe. <sighs> Nearly there, keep charging. <sighs> In through the nose or the mouth, but always out of the mouth. <sighs> charge, charge, charge. Nearly there, keep charging. Deep breath in, now fully exhale, out of the mouth, let it go. And hold. Scan the body. I let go of the tension in my face, in my jaw. I let go of the tension and stress in my shoulders. All the tension points in my body open effortlessly like a flower in the sun. Rest in this space. And when the natural reflex comes to breathe, not when the ego tells you, but when the body tells you, listen carefully, huge inhale, hold for 10. And let go. Rest in this state for a few minutes. You may have been aware that it felt like your breath hold on the second round was longer. This is normal. This is showing that you are becoming more and more oxygenated between rounds. This increases and you are safe. So surrender to this breath hold and only take that breath in when the body needs it. No force, no pressure. We will begin the third and final round. It is always at your own pace. If it feels like too much, you can slow the breath down. Deep breath in for me. Exhale through the mouth. Let's go. Final round. Final 90 seconds, minute and a half. Breathe. You know how to do this now. Trust the body. Trust the lungs. Belly, chest, head. Let go. Belly, chest, head. Let go. Belly, chest, head. Let go. Every single breath is like the first breath you've ever taken. Honor it. Huge breaths in. Good. Emotions can build, thoughts can build with this process. Breathe into those thoughts, breathe into those emotions if they arise. It is the body releasing what no longer served it. Breathe. The oxygen is moving into the subconscious areas of the brain. The oxygen is moving into the tissue. This is how we release trauma. This is how we release pain. This is how we heal. Nearly there, breathe, huge breaths in, shallow exhales. Huge breaths in, shallow exhales. Good. Huge inhale, all the way in, all the way in. Now all the way out with control through the mouth. 
Soften the body as you exhale. Soften everything. Soften the jaw. Soften. Soften. And hold. Surrender and fall deeper and deeper into this relaxation. The mind quietens, the body softens. You are safe. You are well. Naturally feels right, huge in breath. And let go. Just return to the natural rhythm of your breath. Become the awareness, become the observer of your thoughts. Become the observer of the sensation within your bodies. We do not judge, we do not suppress, we allow. When you are ready, you're going to take a big breath in. Exhale through the mouth, nice and long. And then slowly open your eyes. When you're ready. Thank you. So that was three rounds of the Wim Hof Method. Um, normally when we begin like this, we have, like you, you're doing now, you're sat up because you are listening to my instruction and everything. But as we practice with this, we can actually lie down uh, on a yoga mat with a blanket. And what I do is I go further than three rounds. It could be anything for eight, nine, 10 rounds. And I also use a drum and I beat the drum. And what the drum does, with the breath work is it elevates us into theta brainwave state. I know LPT cover a lot of this with their, their mind work. They do fantastic work. But when we move into theta, we move into highly creative states. It's the hypnosis state. So basically we are opening the door to the subconscious. We are making the unknown known. And that's where true healing occurs. You know, there's a saying that ignorance is bliss. Afraid, I'm afraid it isn't. Um, when we are ignorant to subconscious patterns that usually occur in our childhood, uh, we repeat those mistakes over and over again. No matter how much we try to change our external environment, the new job, the new partner, the new house, if there are any issues in your life that keep coming back in a circle, perhaps it's toxic relationships, for example, they keep coming back. That's usually due to a subconscious nervous system pattern that we've picked up in childhood that we are playing out over and over. And the reason we're playing out over and over is an aspect of ourselves just wants us to heal through it, to become empowered. And how do we become empowered? We work through our issues. We move through the pain. That's why suppression or running doesn't work. And um, Matt knows my story. You know, I, I, I did a lot of that in my past with addictions and things like that. So this isn't, I'm not coming from a place of judgment when I talk about this. I've taken the scenic route. Um, but yeah, they're the three rounds of the Wim Hof Method.
thank you very much. Um, I'd like to, if we've got time, Matt, just That's great. That's open, great. If you have any questions at all, any of yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. just you guys can unmute yourselves now. And I think, I don't know, I was, I was getting involved there and I feel, whew, <laughs> like I've just come off a trip. <laughs> How are we feeling, guys? Tingling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, I really felt the tingles. I know the first time I, I did, we had a Mastering You Day with the drum. That was, that was intense. I mean, um, but that, that was great as well. It was, it was good to do it. It was good to do it again. Um, and uh, how are you feeling, Sarah? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. I, I find what, I find um, the in breath quite burny in the nostrils, mm. interestingly. I didn't think my nostrils could burn like that just from breathing. Yeah, when, when we... It's painful. Yeah, when we inhale through the nose, we're engaging more of the nitric oxide cycles. Basically, uh, okay. means, uh, we're creating more vasodilation, so the oxygen can go into the system easier. But I would go further with this and say that any areas of discomfort with the breath work can show um, something that we can learn about ourselves, even in the nose, right? In uh, the, the, the body, any of you know of... Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Well, similar to Chinese medicine where our physical body is a reflection of the subconscious mind. So any issues we have in the body are actually unresolved issues in the subconscious mind. So there can be reflections. Everything is a metaphor. So if there is pain, it means it's healing. It's like a, a poison in the body. How do we take that poison out? We have to pull it out. If we have a, a, a splinter, we need to take the splinter out of the body. If we just put a plaster over the splinter, it's only temporary. So we need to move through those pain points. So as we continue with the work, we get stronger and stronger, but we do it at our own pace. So if the nose feels like it's burning too much, start breathing in through the mouth. Just should like you, that. Should you stick with <laughs> one or the other, Daniel? I, switch. I, I, I go from one round I do, Nose inhalation, the next round I do mouth inhalation, but always oh, okay. You can switch, but it's, but it's best to stick to like one or the other when you're doing it. Like, because I, I had the same as Sarah, I, I was it started to get like quite I don't know, I can't have to even describe it, but I was like, I was kind of going between nose and mouth on the inhalation. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. You, you can switch. as long as you're getting the breath in, it doesn't yeah, really matter. Hop says just get it in, get yeah. it. In. But as like anything, like exercise, <clears throat> marathon running, endurance, you get stronger. Mm -hmm. So when I first started this, same issues. I don't get them anymore. It's only because I do a lot of this breath work and other breath work. So you, you will get stronger. But mm -hmm. for, um, for the oxygen to be utilized correctly in the body or more efficiently, I'd say nasal inhalation. Nasal inhalation throughout the day in your normal breathing is always good. Because when you breathe in through the nose, you're typically breathing in slower and you have to breathe in deeper. This is how we keep our blood pressure low, how we stay stress-free. If we're breathing in through the mouth through the day, when we're not exercising, that's something you may want to look into and investigate. You have to be, more, you have to be a lot more conscious, don't you, when you breathe in through the mouth. Because yeah. if, you, if you're not conscious breathing through the mouth, you tend to chest breathe. Yeah. Your natural inclination is to chest breathe if you breathe in through the mouth. Yeah, and it's naturally shallow, usually. Yeah. So, yeah, try and breathe in through the nose. Yeah. Guys. Great. Yeah. So, um, does anyone have any questions? No, I did have, like, uh, while I was holding my breath, I had quite a strong cold sensation. I was feeling cold. Is that normal? Yes. Yeah, so, the. I, I had that. Yeah, so the breath work can exaggerate your natural inclination because it's powerful. So if you're someone who maybe feels cold, you'll get very cold. If you're sensitive to heat, you can get very hot. Okay. So it's why when we do workshops, we on a yoga mat, we have blankets. Because some people are shaking and others want to take their shirt off. It's, it's a really because of the heat. So that's a natural process, yeah. It's the body. I thought there's a draft in the house. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? What well, the breath can do. And it's this breath work that focuses and calms the mind to then move into an ice bath. 
So don't worry, guys, I won't be having you <laughs> up the device. But this is the power of the breath, and which is what led me to, and I've said this loads of times, but I climbed a mountain in Poland in minus 20 in just my shorts for two and a half hours, doing this breath beforehand. So it just shows you how powerful this is. It, it really aligns. It makes the mind and the heart cohesive, coherent, sorry. Um, so everything's on the same page. That's what the breath does. It is part of doing it before you go to use any cold therapy to, to, to kind of get your, your, your mind in the right state. Yes. Is that, so, that part of it as well? Yeah, with this breath work, you may feel more relaxed and more focused. That's the point of it, which then leads on to the cold shower so there's less procrastination. Right, okay. And then the cold shower, obviously, which we've discussed on the, on the podcast, if you haven't heard of it yet, um, there are many benefits of the cold. Uh, and then when you do it with the breath work, one plus one equals three. It's an exponential effect. Yeah. And some of Matt's members have come to our workshop and have gone into an ice bath as well. And they've, they've done it. Sam's done it a few times. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions as well, that you know, you can ask those guys. I, I'm here. If you need to ask me, ask me questions. Yeah, no, thanks. Thanks so much, Daniel. Well, I'm sure when, uh, when things uh open up and you're able to run your your live workshops again i'm sure people listening to this or watching this on the record will be wanting to do the the whole shebang <laughs> yeah. i will say those three rounds when i said about the minimum effective dose try yeah. doing it every morning every morning on an empty stomach that's the best time to do it because diet right. takes up energy so if you do it on an empty stomach you'll feel the effects even more so every uh, okay. day, one to three rounds every morning and after a week or two, you'll start feeling the difference. You'll start feeling the difference in terms of how you perceive stress and anxiety. Lots if you're exercising before or after? Before exercising, because you're energizing the tissue with oxygen, which right. increases your lactate threshold. It basically means you can push harder before the burn kicks in because you have that oxygen within the muscle tissue. Right. Yeah, because you, you work, just, just for the benefit of anyone watching this or, or the members, you work with athletes, um, you know, you're like fighters and Formula yeah. One drivers. And yeah, so things. we've been working, we're in line with working with a, a MotoGP a race driver and team. But at the moment, we work with professional cage fighters or Bellator and cage yeah. warriors. So, yeah, they're under a lot of stress um, being in a cage fighting. So yeah, they use this breath work to not only physically prepare, but mentally prepare as well. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, no, uh, well, thank, thanks so much. That was, that was awesome. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Great stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, um, well, we'll hopefully, um, we'll hear, we'll hear more from Daniel. I'm sure we will. And, uh, and we'll, we'll sign up for now then, guys. Have a good day, yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye, bye now. Bye.